Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee, and this is an unboxing, you know, deck expiration, all those wonderful things of um, the This Might Hurt Special Edition Tarot from Liminal 11. Um, I bought this deck, I pre ordered it because I missed out on um, Seed and Sickle Special Edition um, and I kicked myself forever. Um, however, I did just, I've just unboxed the Citadel um, Special Edition. Um, so the video for that will be up. Um, and they also, I always recommend, I would always recommend the Special Editions because I had the White Newman one which they kept, kindly sent me to unbox for my channel um, a, few, a couple of years ago, a year ago, I don't know. Um, and the Special Editions are so worth it and there are things in there that you just don't get that they reproduce. However, people were so intrigued by the Citadel and asking that it was on its own. It did become its own deck and it is formatted differently, but um, anyway, now, this um, obviously is a special edition. If you're not aware of Liminal Eleven's decks, they do incredible decks. We had Luna Soul, the original Luna Soul, which I absolutely, it's one of my favourites. It's in my top 10. As you can see, it's used a lot. Um, I need to get another. I love the original texture of the cards. It, for some reason, the new one just, the new one doesn't feel the same in my hands. And that's the thing that my autistic brain goes, oh. <laughs> But um, it's an amazing deck. It is an amazing deck. And this is really good quality cards. That's not to say. It's just when I compare the two. I think it's because this was the original one I knew. It just feels. It's the same artwork. It's just um, on, a, on a different format. And they have these lovely magnetic boxes. Um, with the inserts that come out. As well. So on these deck design box designs. There's nobody. I've not seen. Well I've seen yarn tarot copy it. But. Anyway, so we have uh, Witch, Modern Witch as well, which is a gorgeous feminine twist on the traditional Rider Waite Smith. Uh, and White Newman, as you see, I have the, I do buy the uh, normal editions as well. Cosmic Slumber, these are incredible, incredible, incredible decks. Um, Mystic Medleys and New Chapter, um, again, brilliant, so different. Liminal really do pick their artists and, and people that they work with and collaborate with brilliantly. And there's a couple of Oracle decks, Seed and Sickle. Obviously, there's now the Citadel Oracle, um, Metaphysical Cannabis Oracle, which is based loosely on tarot by the look of it when I went through it. Anyway, this is the This Might Hurt Tarot. Um, this Might Hurt came out in a uh, indie version a few years ago, and I was watching it on... Um, Little Red Tarot for a while and then by the time I actually got around to um, thinking about getting it this had come out and um, so anyway this is the special edition that they've done with uh, Liminal Eleven um, and obviously the boxes that these come in alone are just absolutely stunning and they're worth looking at and appreciating just as they are this might hurt tarot deck um, and it also has, as part of this, there's that gorgeous design um, on the sides as well. Look, that's going to be, I think that's the moon card on that this part. Um, but there you go. I'm going to open this up now. And while I'm doing that, um, number 1360. So yeah, so this is the special edition. And like I said, it wasn't an indie deck. It does come with an Oracle deck as part of this um, this special edition as well, which is the This Might Help deck. Um, now that's really, oh, that, that, as soon as I saw that I was in anyway, because I just love um, the special editions. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this open with that. It says open carefully and I'm trying to. Um, there we go. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my God. Right, that is like a steel grey blue lilac lavender. It's absolutely stunning. Um, let's open it up. Let's take it out of the box. Look, the detail, even inside, like where it's hidden, they've decorated it. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put that over there so I can deal with that later. Um, so yes, this might hurt Tarot Deck Special Edition. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Right, let's find a piece where I'm not going to damage the box. But there you go. I don't even need scissors. Pulled open there. Look. So let's have a look. Oh, this detail. Oh, it's like a pearlescent holographic. Oh, 
this is a happy Kaylee. You might see my little happy, happy stims happen with this. Um, so yeah, we have this holographic design on the side. Oh, there's a sword with holographic. Ah. Most things in life do worth doing might hurt. Wow, that's wisdom. And the cup on the side. And then we have this gorgeous design on the back. The attention to detail that they put into their boxes and decks is incomparable to anybody. I've never known anybody put so much effort into the aesthetics around the whole thing. It's just, this is why they're such good value for money. Like they're worth so much more than what they charge and yet, oh my God, they don't charge sure enough for them. Anyway, so yes, this might hurt tarot deck, special edition. Now I treated myself to this. I had some money coming in the early part of the year and I treated myself to it. So we have this gorgeous dog on the inside and you've got all the triple moons and the pomegranates and oh it's stunning oh my god it smells amazing as well what is that anyway so isabella rotman has signed the um card the authenticity card um 1360 is my number and you have this gorgeous pocket journal that came with it as part of it i love isabella's work and there's these two versions of the the wolf uh, this journal belongs to and look at the detail on the inside of the cover as well it's the same on both sides <gasps> two of swords uh, journal belongs to and then it's got the date the query the spread and the interpretation that's a really good journal actually it's a really good it's a really simple way to um create a practice with tarot is to have your own journal we have oh we have a tarot cloth this time so we have oh look at that the pomegranate with the death moth we have the pomegranate open we have flowers and i have the i'm going to see if i can move the box out of the way for a second see if i can i don't think i'm going to get all of it in because of the height that i have but you have this gorgeous it's blue it's beautiful um it's a bit of fluff on it there um absolutely beautiful blue it's like an aqua blue it's beautiful with this gorgeous silver with those details on the in wow so you've got the four elements in the center love it absolutely love it yeah so with the tarot ones you tend to get the tarot cloth with it we didn't get it with the citadel but then you have so many other things like the um the coin um, so let's have a look. This might hurt tarot deck. Now, I don't know if this is the same as the uh, mass market one. Um, I'm going to turn the box that way so I can actually get everything in. I don't know if it's the same as the mass market one. Um, sometimes with the special editions, they tend to do the edges and emboss or gild the edges. So um, emboss, what's the word I'm looking for? Colour the edges. So we have this might hurt tarot deck. We have the details on the back and the side absolutely stunning that strength card on the front i'm guessing um there you go light at the crossroads we have the design on the inside i love that they do this in every deck i love that they do this where the box and that continue the image i love it and the detail on the inside case as well more that world card is everything oh absolutely stunning in there as i said look foiled gilded edges and the inside of the box is also always decorated the attention like i said the attention to detail <laughs> the liminal 11 put in is incredible okay let's look. i like to take the cardboard cushions out because once it's out it's it's easier for me inside details again look same as the inside of the book that we had the um the notebook this might hurt guidebook but isabella rotman we have the contents there. So we have a foreword. Oh, Melissa Sinova. If you oh, follow her on Instagram, incredible, incredible tarotist. Absolutely incredible. Um, introduction, good human too. Um, introduction, Isabella on gender and tarot, the major arcana. And then we have a full colour image. Oh my God, my heart is singing right now. Full colour image and then a description of the card 
for each of the major arcana. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My legs are just going, oh, this might hurt, this might heal card as an extra there. And then we have the minor arcana. So it explains the suits. And then obviously the numbered cards and the court cards. Um, and then we have ace of wands, two of wands. So it has an, an element of the card on the edges of the pages, but they still get a full page. They still get a full page. That, that's incredible that they still get a full page. Sometimes you don't. How to read tarot, performing a tarot, uh, reverse card meanings, tarot spreads. So we have past, but so three cards, uh, cycle of healing, uh, path to the world, and then special thanks there. Bibliography and recommended sources. Love it. There's one on there I really wouldn't, but the rest of them are pretty. Beth Maiden. Beth Maiden is incredible, people. Honestly, Beth has inspired more of my tarot than a lot of people. Rachel Pollock, another one. Wow. Cassandra Snow, incredible book, Queering the Tarot. It, there's some amazing ones there. So there you go. We have the images on the back. So let's have a look at the deck itself it has this gorgeous foiling just like on the box i'm going to take the cuff off i like to slide the cuff off but it doesn't seem to want to come off why doesn't it want to come off there we go um so the back design it's a little bit bent but that's fine it'll i'm sure it'll straighten up uh design with the lemma and the of the uberos and also having the well it looks like the world card with all the elements on it and that ombre in the middle so it is reversible uh we have the fool slightly shinier than the citadel deck so it's it's i wouldn't say glossy glossy but it's shinier than the other one um so yeah we have the fool the magician some of these are going to get stuck together because when they're gilded they tend to stick the high priestess the empress with the strawberries, Emperor, the Hierophant. I love that it has just the number at the top rather than the Roman numerals. Not everybody understands Roman numerals, you know. The Lovers, beautiful. The Chariot. Uh, strength. The Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance. The Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun, Judgment, yes, the World. Um, is that two or is that one? That's one. I'm guessing that, yes, yeah, at the end. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. The two of Wands. The three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, squirrel at the front, nine, and the ten, page, knight, queen of wands, king of wands, beautiful. Then we go into the cups, ace of cups, and I love that they have the consistent background colours as well. The two. 
beautiful. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. We have the Page. Knight, the Queen, and the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Two, the Three, it's a really sad one, Four, Five, Six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, the page, the knight, gilding sometimes catches on the, uh, queen of swords, on any deck, by the way, when they put the gilding on, it tends to stick all the cards together. King of Swords. Then we're into the Pentacles with the Ace. The Two. Stunning. My daughter's hair was like that last year. Three of Pentacles. The Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, the nine, stunning, the ten, the page, the knight, the queen, and the king of pentacles. And then we have the this might hurt, this might hurt, this might hurt, this might heal card as well at the end. Absolutely stunning absolutely stunning so we have that gorgeous pearl effect on the sides of the, the gilding the edging i'm just going to pop them back in the box oh no that's it like that okay pop them back in oh i've put that in the wrong way around that will annoy me there we go and then you also have the this might help oracle deck with it now a lot of people have been asking already if this is going to come out mass produced now that worked with the citadel when the seed and sickle special edition which i missed out on um came out and there was the citadel deck um and a lot of people um asked requested that the oracle deck come out for the citadel so um it's possible and now it has its own special edition and everything so maybe who knows maybe this might help we'll have this might help to have this come out as a mass-produced uh deck as well so isabel rotman again obviously isabella sorry rotman again we have the feather on the side and the sword oracle deck this might help now i really love this because it is from what i've gathered oh look at that squirrel i love a squirrel Especially those with ADHD probably appreciate squirrel. <laughs> Take the cushion out the bottom. I love that they put cardboard cushions in because if you don't want them, you can recycle them. So there you go. Uh, this might help instructional guidebook. So we have this gorgeous snake design again with the snakes eating their own tails, each other. Um, and then we have the contents there. So they are not in alphabetical order. So they will be um, find the page introduction how to use it then we have uh the number the dog best advice listen to so i think i could be wrong these are elements from the major arcana from the tarot things that have that might help 30 and there are 33 of these and i love 33 it's a master number right let's have a look so let's see what this deck has for us so it's special edition so we get all the nice gilded on the cards which is beautiful let's take the cuff off so we can have a look at the cards now these are smaller these are more plain card size um a bit like um 
new chapter tarot was a smaller size deck actually i wonder if it compares actually in case anyone's got the new the new chapter tarot it's ever so slightly smaller than new chapter tarot there you go if anybody has that and <laughs> wants to know also if you do have little hands and you find big tarot cards hard that's a really good deck because it has the slightly smaller cards anyway so we have the dog with this gorgeous blue different blue to the oh no it's not it's the same blue as the mat it just feels different um the back design look with the lanterns and the birds stunning uh the magician's wand which is a candle in this one the veil from the high priestess 12 star crown from the empress anyone who teaches tarot or learns the symbolism of it then we have the ram from the emperor knows these mean these cards the cross keys from the hierophant the Bow of Eros from that lovers, not the traditional symbolism in the lovers. The Steed. So they've taken the elements from that tarot. The Garland from the Strength card around the Lion. And also the Four of Wands has it. The Lantern from the Hermit. Absolutely stunning. The Snake. Snake's such an important symbol. The battered sword. The rope, so justice. And the other one was um, the Wheel of Fortune. This is the hanged man. So the rope. Looks a bit like a magpie on there. The banner of death from death. Always reminds me of um, Tudor Rose for some reason. <laughs> well, the white one which what was that that was york wasn't it the middle path from temperance shackles from the devil the lightning bolt from the tower stunning ibises from the star you can see the little stars they've still got the stars in the background reflecting the mask this was from the moon sunflower from the sun card feather of truth from judgment that anubis image stunning uh ouroboros see i told you <laughs> from the world card i'm just chuffing myself because i got that right then we have water element the hot drink who doesn't love a cup of tea and setting the world to rights is everything the broken cup funny i had a broken glass this morning bird in flight Stunning with that foiling. The blindfold. The double-edged sword. Isn't it just? The bonfire. I love that I've got this just before Beltane with that bonfire. Uh, the cat. The salamander. The fertile earth one. The hooded falcon is indeed grounded. And coins, because we all need to get us some coins, because it seems to be how we make the world go round at the moment. So they are the same texture. They are that um, that semi-gloss. I wouldn't say it's glossy gloss. Um, if there was such a thing as matte gloss, that would be it. That would be what that deck is. So that is, this might help. The Mist Might Hurt Tarot deck with the This Might Help Oracle deck, which I think is a beautiful way to use your decks together. Um, the little pocket journal and everything. This is an incredible, incredible special edition. Um, I am going to be buying the Oracle and This Might Hurt deck um, in the mass market normal because I like to be able to use them. I like to keep my special editions pretty. Um, <laughs> keep them pretty i do like to use them i have used my white newman um but for day-to-day -day reading because i read on the daily at the moment for people so um i do like to use the the mass market ones um you feel less guilty about using them um because then otherwise oh i've just dropped my scissors on the floor otherwise you end up like me with this one which is it's all 
used and you're like, oh, I wish I had the, I wish I had another copy that I'd kept for good. Um, but there you go. So that is the This Might Hurt tarot deck. Check out Liminal 11 anyway. Check out Isabella Rotman. Check out Melissa Sanova. Check out <laughs> Beth Maiden on Little Red Tarot. Um, it's an incredible, un incredible, incredible. And I'm so glad that I got it because I have kicked myself with that sickle and seed. I cannot tell you how much I've kicked myself for that. Um, but anyway. So hopefully this has been of some use to you. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below and I will get back to you at some point within the next six months. Um, that's ironic. That's I'm getting better at it, but it, it could be a couple of weeks, even six weeks. Um, but yes, so yes, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon, hopefully. Bye for now.